Okay, so I did a video about three months ago, had a different outfit on, same pants. I, you know, made a promise from H&M, which is, bam, down there. Uh, actually, the one in uh, Columbia Mall, made a promise with them. These pants, I'm supposed to rip them to shreds by doing parkour, and then I can replace them. So, other than that, I'm still in one outfit. And the reason being is minimalist. I'm trying to see what it's like to be a minimalist. To have like less than the average American citizen. But that doesn't apply to money wise because I need money to be able to help people I need to have the money compound to be able to help people one day because if you have money and let's say you have so much in the bank so much in the stock and then you just start helping people right away right during a pandemic and whatever hell else you want to call this thing going on in the United States of America and around the world uh, you're gonna lose the money. Just plain and simple. You're gonna lose it if you go out there and just start handing it out. Last year, that's what I did. All my money, everybody used to come up to me like, hey, hey, I'm like, here, here. I don't get much, but here, here, here. And uh, it didn't work out too well. So this year, I'm not handing out no money at all so I'm trying to build a business and um, inspire people with free content and then uh, keep my means low when it comes to like upkeep like I have one outfit I gotta wash I have a pair of headphones and a book bag with a uh, computer in it like that's all I own. I got rid of everything else. Because, I mean, I was working towards it anyways. If you look at my last resume, which I'll post, I put a uh, white minimalist on it. Because I thought the whole concept was pretty cool. And uh, one day I do wanna travel around, help more people like a Peace Corps type person you know what I mean and when I get to that level I'm not going to be able to be like hey I got this entire fucking you know materialistic world of mine that I got to leave behind and have someone take care of so yeah so short and sweet and uh rambling session that's what I like to call these rambling sessions. But, uh, all right. So, white minimalist. That is why you see me with one outfit. You know, looking like I never changed, but I changed. Three shirts on. Well, four shirts on, actually. That way, if you uh, want to switch up the outfit a little bit, you just change the way you have it on. And you wash them every... Um, every three days every something like that you know if you think about it ordinary households if you guys didn't have what you have how many times would you wash the one outfit that you have on you would you wash it every day would you wash it every seven days like what depends on religion depends on if you can afford it Depends on if you're grateful. Depends on if, you know, you have the luxury of doing it. I remember last year, <clears throat> I remember last year, right when I went to Target, some clown motherfucker told me I was living in luxury because I bought underwear 
boxers that are a little bit more expensive than the average boxers. I know like saying this is kind of like, I'm gonna say gay, but this is honest to God, right hand up to God, true. So yeah, Target in Maryland, they were like, well, you know, you got the ordinary packs, then you got the kind that like will last. Like I'm down to one outfit. What kind of, like I do have like my book bag full of underwear though, you know what I mean? So I'm talking about one outfit, you know, luxury underwear. That's what I have luxury in my life, my undergarments. So I has, yeah, that's what the guy said that I'm living in luxury about. But if you think that's luxury, it could be some people's perspective. Also, what's luxury to you? Because what I'm seeing out here, a lot of people don't have luxury. A lot of people have one pair of socks, one pair of underwear, or out in the fucking streets living day to day eating off the fucking ground like I did last year still doing it dead of the fucking winter eating off the ground laying on the cold fucking streets and everybody I'm sorry to say it like this all these police and barricades and all this stuff that's going on like worried about you know, protecting capital buildings and not protecting fucking people. It's what's pissing me the fuck off. Like you got tents all around the city. You have people laying on the fucking street on sleeping bags. People literally walking by them, spinning on them. And then you got fucking people that are in positions where they literally are getting paid 17 to 20 dollars an hour i know because that's why i came back my last paycheck when i worked here as a security officer i got 17 dollars an hour so you got like all these dc's full of security there shouldn't be no homeless people out here. Because if you're getting paid $17 an hour, you live off of 30% of that. Think about it. 